find your space. So we will be coming down to the floor near the end of this 30 minutes. So if you have just something that can cushion you for your low back, it might be a mat, it might be carpet, it could be a towel, just have it available. Inhale your arms up, feel your abdomen expand, exhale your hands down. Breathe in deeply, and remember one of the reasons that we do these lives is to remind each other that we're all awake and alive, all of us in our own spaces around the world. Two more times. Big breath. So collectively, we feel that energy. One more. Big breath into your stomach and come back down. Turn your feet parallel and run. So from here, there's a slight hinge forward at your hip, not a rounding. Your heart beams. Imagine a light coming out of it. Eight more counts. Two. Speed up that run. Five. This is how we create heat. Seven. Then from here, inhale, arms up. Exhale your hands back down. Step your feet a little wider. Drop your chin to your chest. Open back. Look to the side. Other side. Now circle around. Take your moment. Your cervical spine. Do it one more time. Is your neck. Other way. We want to make sure that there's mobility there. So we start this experience getting rid of tension. Bring your arm forward. If you have tightness in your shoulder, soften your elbow four more times. We're at three. Bring your arm back. Really feel that big stretch four more times. This uh, workout is also going to be available on IGTV on Pop Sugar. So you guys can come back to it again or share it four more times. Nice, loose, long neck. Circle your arm back. Two more times. Now from there, arms go forward, back. Let your hips start to move as well. This is the warm up. Eight count, one, two, three. Activating the musculature under your shoulders, awakening your breath and your stomach. Circle your hips around and around. Two more times that direction. Your hips are meant to move in spirals, not just forward and back. Other way, circle around. And when we do that, you activate the pelvic floor, the strength in your abdomen. Then from there, bring your legs tight together. Inhale up and drop your shoulders. Hold to your wrist and bend to the side. Tuck your tailbone under and take a long breath. See if it can kind of unstick the side of your ribs so we can take bigger oxygenated breaths in the side of your lungs. Tuck under. Let yourself open up. This 30 minutes is about connecting with your body, with each other. Bring both arms back. Now here's a modification. Your hands can go on your low back and your chin can stay tucked or Allow yourself to vulnerably open up. Find the heart in your chest and beam it to the sky. Take one more breath. Exhale, round down. Step your feet out slightly wider again. Bend one knee and then the other knee. So we're working through a fluid progression. Inhale your back flat. I'm gonna speak to you a lot so that you can verbally hear what's happening as you work in your space, maybe if you're not always seeing the screen. You're holding in a forward fold, four counts. Push your knees straight wherever you are, bend your knees and round up. As you round up, let your arms just reach overhead. We're gonna do rolling hangovers. They look like this, drop, drop. So you can watch me one or two times. There's a swinging of your arms back. Now notice I added a little jump, that's an option. That's not, a, that's not required, it's not better, it's not advanced, it's different. If it's fun, go for it four more times or just stay flat footed. Two more just like that. Exhale as you round down. Inhale as you lift up. One more. Bring your arms out to second. Touch your heels together, come to your toenails. Bring the same arm up. Big breath. So it's a really important, very uniquely dancer stretch. Other side. Awakening your feet. Your abdominal muscles are actually connected to your feet through kinetic energy. And then arms out. Bring your leg out, pull your waistline in, touch your heels together and out. Eight times. So here's the first opportunity to feel gravity pressing down towards it as the air lifts up and under your arms. Plie, reset. Other side, one of eight, two, three. Exhale, five, six, seven. Touch your heels. Bring your arms overhead, lift your heels up, down, up, down, four more, exhale. Continuing to warm up your feet, moving through the metatarsals, hold at the top, turn your feet parallel, and then pull up from your stomach, reach five, 
six stitch taller. Step your feet wider, drop your hips and lift. This is gonna be a few minutes of cardiovascular work. Exhale on the up. Push your sit bones back. Keep your weight in your heels. Now from there, kick your legs back. Your arms move out and up. So this is about elongating your abdominal muscles and your hips. And when we do that, we're gonna create more connection to your abs for more. And this cardio will get you into fat burning mode. Step side, side, double here, side. Again, this can be done with no bounce. Repeat that side step, side step, double. Again, side, other side. Now just legs out and in and arms up. Here's no impact option. Honor your body if that's right. Here's the option for sensitive shoulders. Eight more, then we're gonna start at the top. Five. Now same choreography, draw. So to get your stomach strong, you connect to your breath and press your body weight up. Squeeze your glutes at the top. Two more times. One more time. Kick your leg back and stretch. Let your arms move. We're opening up from your ribs to your fingers, eight counts. Two, then we're gonna dance to the side. Five. Dance to the side, side. And a double here. And then dance, be light in your feet. This can be done with no impact, repeat. This would be no impact. Or the bounce. Legs out and in. Breathe out. Really raising the roof. Eight more. One, two, three. So your shoulders press down from your ears. Now draw. Breathe out. On that up. Exhale on the up. Four more times. One, then you're gonna hold. Two, that's three, hold. Pull your waistline up. Now create flexibility in your back by rounding, tuck your tail, stretch. Tuck your chin, stretch. Two more times. Notice how your abdomen contracts and elongates. One more, now hold, little bounces. So these are such powerful positions to activate your glutes, which is part of your core, your abdomen, to work in through your postural body and to create that deep fire. Go a little lower. You have the option to bring your hands to prayer. Make sure you feel your arms down your back. Option, arms forward, back, forward, back. So this is just an option. If you're feeling it in your knees at all, Push your pinky toes, toes rather, down a little more. And even if you have shoes on, feel your feet actively gripping the floor. Think about that even through the sole of your shoe. And all weight goes in all 10 toes. Option, change your arm rows. And as you do this, eliminate twists, no twists. This is deeper tissue work. Eight, get lower. Get lower. Now you can stay just like this for 16 little jumps. One. Two, so you can stay rowing. You can move to those large rain flushes that you already got to know, or jump. Eight more. Land lightly in your feet. Training your feet. Six, seven. Open out wide. Bend your right knee. Down, up. So the other knee is straight. This knee is locked up. So there's a sculpt happening up your inner thigh. You have the option to change your arms. This would be a windmill. You can prayer and open your heart, but that's better for your shoulders. Once you've got your arm dense, add a step in, down, and then check the details. All 10 toes forward. The booty presses back, not to the side, back behind your heels. Option, coupe, which is just bringing your foot to your inner ankle or turned out passe which is wrapping your stepping foot in. Exhale on that up four more, then pull. One, feel yourself lifting yourself. Three, you're all you need. Hold, rotate your knee forward. Step it back to a lunge, bend your knees. Pull your elbows back behind you, tuck your hips 16 times. So coming out of kind of um, maybe, maybe more old fashioned ways of thinking about abs, 
thinking less always about crunches and more about activation, then bring your arms up, circle one of four. So elongating the tissue of the muscles as we challenge them. Now pulse down, tuck your tailbone under, this lunge or modern fourth position, option lift your front heel. Eight more times, one, two, keep tucking your tail under, grip this back glute, five, six, seven, lower your front heel, hinge forward, I'll show you from the side, until you activate that depth of stretch. Keep your front leg really bent, back knee up, up. Breathe out as it pulls up, eight more, one. So bar comes into this in the intentionality in many ways. Hold, keeping the abdominal muscles active, play with your balance, remember, you're allowed to wiggle and even fall, lift your leg and arms up. 16 times. Your abs are working by pulling up away from gravity. Eight more. Your arms are stretching. They're working through your tricep. Six, seven, lower back down. Then from there, rotate your back foot to a 45 degree angle. Reach up and over. Enjoy that moment of extension. Windmill forward. Both hands underneath your shoulders. Step back. Now, walk your feet a little wider than your hips. Walk your hands under your heart. Make a heart shape. Pause there. I'm gonna show you what I mean by that. You stay in your plank. You can always modify on your knees or your forearms. That's what your heart shape looks like. It's right under your natural heart. Connecting your body to the earth. Spread your fingers wide. Option, down for two, and back up. Now. These particular heart-to-heart -heart plank push-ups, four more times. Can again be done on your knees. They can also be done on an angle, at a counter or a ballet bar. Anything about waist height, down. Hold there. Bring one arm up, stretch. Return to your heart. Rotate and stretch, down. Four more like that. Feel the floor, and then reach to the sky. That's one of four. Big stretch. We're at two, exhale. This little twist is beginning to create more sculpt in your obliques. Now step right foot up, back, left. We're coming into 20 seconds of challenge. So we have sustainable fat burning energy. You can stay like that or bring both feet in, stand up, lower back down and extend. Or one more option as you build as you create new experiences, add a hop at the top. 16 counts, two, your choice. That's the cool thing about doing it at home. You make the choice that feels right for you. Eight more counts, two, word four. That's six, everyone stand up tall. Open up, bend your other knee down. Down, lower down and up. Ooh, I'm losing my very cute headband, I must fix. Lower down. For anyone who's gonna ask, this cool outfit is courtesy of Alo. Alo, Alo, Alo. Press up. And I'm obsessed. Down, up. You can always choose prayer and open. If you choose that one, really notice that stretch across your lungs. Option out of step. Now play with this one. You already know this leg is straight. The root is straight. So here, let the weight land almost totally in your heel. Option, coupe. Just a little point, bringing your pointed foot to your inner ankle or passe out. Breathe out. Get lower for more. One, use the floor and breath to lift yourself up. Hold, rotate, step back. Fourth position, make sure that your hips and your feet are equidistant. So not on a train, not on a tightrope, on a train track. Pull your elbows back, tuck your hips 16 times. So this is pelvic floor and low abdominal work, eight more. This is elongating the muscles that can get tight in your hips. A slow back, arms up circle. Again, finding those striated lines in your abdomen Pause, then little pulse. As always, your hands can come to prayer. 
to honor sensitive shoulders option releve 16 times. So you want to keep building fire, but in a balanced way. Eight more. That's why I'm using violet today. It's the midlight on the spectrum where warm and cool meet. It's powerful. Pause. Lower your front heel. It still has some heat in it though. Knee up. I'm going to show you from the side. Exhale. 16 more. Utilizing the stillness of your front leg. Sit back in it more. Eight more. One. This arm work is activating your biceps. And hold. Keep your stomach crunched in. Step back. Option arms back. Little up. Lift. Drop your hip to align it. Eight more times. One, two, three. This is just an option. You can be doing just the arms. Then bring yourself back down. Turn your back foot to a 45. Front knee and ankle align and reach. Pause of the breath. Feel your hip open, retuck your tail under your spine. It's about noticing. There is no such thing as perfection. Pull your stomach in. There is progress, there is discovery, there is day by day. Press your shoulders away from your ears. As you exhale, draw your navel up. We're gonna get strong and brave together. Bend your knees, straighten. Now, this can once more be done. Single legs. Eight counts. One. Both legs. Two. We're on your forearms. Three. And four. Additionally, you can always choose to go to that ballet bar surface on an incline now. One knee up, down. One of eight. And two. Planks. They work your stomach, your arms, your shoulders, your back. They stretch your hips. They create an opportunity to feel what it's like to lift yourself up for more. That's two. When it's you against you, you always win. Pause there, one knee up, down. This is now center line. Option, knees a little quicker. On the beat, last 16, one. If you wanna run it out, and that feels right for you, run it out now. Eight more to finish this, one. Two, or double time, four, five, six, seven. Press to a downward dog this time. Shake a knot in your head, roll up. If you do have weights, take them now. Bring your feet parallel, hip width. Roll your shoulders back. Pull your arms tightly against your ribs. Drop your tail, and let's find that beautiful balance. The balance of feeling the weight in your feet through the inner heel and outer heel, all 10 of your beautiful toes. Think of your arch. Paint some violet light in the arch of your foot and think about kind of pulling it up your legs. So because we're human, we have the power of visualization, of utilizing our brain to have creative thoughts. And we're learning that affects the body in very powerful ways. Eight more. So imagine you are center stage and your heart is beaming out to all of us here in this moment. Lift up, pull down. It's connected. Even if physically you're far away, you know energy goes beyond the body. Breathe out as your elbows come down. Keep this small bend of your elbows to keep your biceps activated. Eight more counts. Work three of eight. Four counts, five, six, seven. Bring your arms up, rotate them back. Up, back. If you're feeling this in your neck whatsoever, that may just mean you have some habitual tension in your trapezius, which is pretty normal nowadays. So reclaim your posture and really utilize, I'm gonna show you from the side, this pull back. And that is going to, as you stabilize your ribs and hips, create a counterbalance and activate your stomach. Four more counts. We're at two, that's three. Press your arms straight out, bend stretch. 16 times. Now let your light feet be light. Six, eight more like that. One, press. Three, four, five, six, seven. Then from there, arms out. Palms back, pinkies up. Lift front to back. 
Remember, this is only 30 minutes. We spent the first about 18 of them creating a duality of metabolic lift and core activation. We use your arms functionally in those planks, and now we're using them in a very specific sculptural way with these weights or arm movements. Four more counts. Two, three. Now turn it to a circle forward. One of eight. Two, relax in your jaw. Five, bring your arms a little lower. If it's in your neck at all, circle back or drop your weights. Three, always a choice. Five, six, seven. Bend your elbows, pause. Rotate your heels in. Option to releve for an additional challenge. Arms back, back. If you are on releve, shoes or not, your heels should be touching. So go to releve to a space that's high enough and comfortable and connected that your calves activate, and then walk your heels all the way together. Eight more pulls, one, two, three. Breathe out, five, six, seven. Hold there, tuck your hips, tuck. Traditional bar tucks, creating the length in your spine. So now that we're warm, we're helping to stretch out your low back, eight. When your low back is stretched, you can connect more deeply to your abdominal muscles. They are partnered. Six, seven, step your feet out, down. Pull your elbows back again. Now you can have more depth. Look at your knees, they're over your second and third toe. Eight more pulls. We're staying longer in the rhomboid tugs today. Six, seven, step your foot across, down. Other arm up, down, up. Option to add a little more dance. Both arms bend, both arms. So we're using your thought to focus on patterns. Four more, one. We're at two. That's three and four. Back at center, arms down, up. Breathe in and out. So in this position with breath, your abdomen activates. Bring your arms up and back. Retuck your tail. Bring your right arm down in front of or behind your thigh, what feels better down? One of eight. We're at two. So think about your hip bones and your shoulder bones as all facing forward in parallel lines and your deep stomach tissue wrapping in, change sides. Down, one of eight. Reach. We're at three. Four more. You're at five. That's six. Word seven, from there, both arms come back, tuck your hips eight times. And four, five, six, seven. Stay low, bring your arms forward, but keep your back engaged. Lower down, bring your hip and punch, other side. So that full extension is creating oblique sculpt. The exhale and twist is anti-inflammatory and abdominally sculpting, that down and up, that's cardiovascular, fat burning, and those punches are your beautiful arms. Now down, up, up, two more slow, then you have the option to stay slow or speed it up. Down, up, one of eight, two, get lower, three, four, five, six, seven, stay low, punch. Now if you came up, I encourage you, to get back down, 16 punches, and our last thing, three.
Maybe it'll talk a little later. Inhale, open up. And remember, the jump is so frightening between where I am and where I want to be, but because of all I may become, I will close my eyes and leap. Spread your wings. Leap towards that goal, that dream, that purpose, that moment. Inhale deeply. Exhale your hands to the earth. Always let her catch you when you fall. Open your eyes to the sun and be in the light. I'm gonna come say hi to you guys really quick one more time. Again, I'm Marnie Alton. If you just joined us, Pop Sugar is going to be saving this workout, this 30 minute bar arms and abs series. So they are gonna be saving it on their IGTV. I'm just gonna take a peek. If you have any questions, and you, hi Spain, you're welcome Virginia, thank you. Erica, thank you so much. Charisse, Helen, Kristen, Alessa from Italy, beautiful. You guys, I'm really grateful that you're all here. Um, again, if you need to find me, I'm at Marnie Alton on Instagram. We're currently doing a challenge, a 60 day challenge, we're part way through, but you can always join us. I have a new online platform with, wow, so many workouts on it right now. We just launched during quarantine, so we're only a few months old, but it's Embody Online. We have 20 minute, we have 30, 45 minute. I do live classes twice a week. So all with one monthly subscription, you can come find tons of stuff there and do live classes twice a week with me. Um, so I can't wait to sculpt, sweat, stretch, and connect with all of you guys. We'll see you soon.